So when, when the movie, when Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest won all the Academy Awards, uh, Breakfast Television was looking for somebody to comment on whether or not that was realistic. They, you know, was it like that in the mental hospital? And they called me and I said, sure, I'll tell you about that. And so, um, you know, the limo comes and picks me up at my house at 6.30 in the morning. I go out to uh, CTV, I get makeup on, uh, I've got myself all turded up for the show and they talk to me about whether it was real. And I said, you're damn right it's real. I said, I recognize every one of those guys in the film. I lived with those guys, and I, and, I uh, uh, and here's what has to change about that. And, and so, uh, you do one of those things, and uh, you're going to do more, right? Because it's 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 an issue that's interesting, and uh, if you can get a person who's been there to talk about it, who's articulate, and who uh, you know will show up on time for the interview and uh, call you back when you call up for a comment, um, then you, you get a profile. So, uh, I couldn't pretend that I had ever been that person, right? Um, so I said to my election team and my uh, teammate, you know, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to be very proactive about this because that's the way to make sure it's not an issue. Right? Like, like, if you've got something in the closet, open the closet door and say, come on in, rummage around in here, see what you like, you know? So, uh, however, that's not the way it was received in the media. The media all said, this guy is Mr. Courage, right? And uh, we all get that. All of us psychiatric survivor activists who are open about having a mental illness get that courage thing. And it pisses us off, right? Because it's, you know what it is? It's just about survival. This is who I am. I don't want to pretend I'm not who I am. I don't want to have to walk around with this baggage that I'm trying to keep the lid on, right? Um, so, um, I'm a mad professor, get over it, you know? 